What's up guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm gonna be showing you three different dropshipping stores. Each store in its own right has done over a million dollars in sales. And we're gonna be taking a look at their sites, their best selling products, their social media platforms, the kind of ads they're running. And we're gonna be finding some of their products on AliExpress too. So by the time you've watched this video, you'll know the whole process from start to finish of what a successful dropshipping store looks like, what a good site looks like, what a good product is, how much you can buy that product for, how much you can sell that product for, and what a successful Facebook ad campaign looks like as well. Now, before we jump into it, just a very quick note, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call in this video. So a chance then for me and you to have a chat on Skype and I can help you with your dropshipping business in any way you need it. To enter the competition then, it's dead easy to do. All you have to do is hit that like button below this video and leave a comment down below. In terms of the comment, it can be whatever you want, just comment ecom, it can be a video idea, it can be a question. Um, I always answer every single comment, so if you do have a question you want to ask me, then make sure you post it below. That being said then guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it, and let's get straight into store number one. So this is store number one then, it's called Shopaholics. Average monthly revenue is 112,000. By the way, this is exchangemarketplace.com if you've never seen it before. Um, all the numbers are verified by Shopify themselves, as you can see, verified. Um, so the numbers are legit, these are legit successful stores. Total revenue, almost 1.4 million over the course of the kind of like past 12 months-ish. Um, total traffic 1.2 and what I want to point out here is that these guys are obviously driving the majority of their sales through Facebook ad spending um, so they say 55 grand a month on Facebook ads so essentially if you're watching this video the chances are these guys are implementing the exact same business model as you're currently running or want to get into so definitely something to learn from this store so this is their home page first impressions to be honest um, it doesn't look that professional I mean, the text itself is pixelated, some of the images, it's clearly a dropshipping store, as you can see from some of the products you've seen. Um, but what is good about this then is the fact that they advertise that you can give them a call and this really legitimizes the store. Now, if you don't feel comfortable putting your own personal number on there or your home phone number, um, completely understandable, what you can do is you can pay for a service. Here in the UK, it's about 30 pounds a month, but in my opinion, then 100% worth it. The reason being then, as a new business, the number one obstacle you're gonna come across is that trust factor. Think about it, if somebody sees your Facebook ad, um, especially as a new business, nobody's gonna know who you are. You might not have much of a following on social media. So the biggest thing that's gonna play in a customer's mind is that trust factor. And the more methods you can offer for somebody to get in contact with you, like a physical address, a phone number, etc., then the more it leg legitimizes your store and the more likely a customer is to trust you. So yes, it is an added expense, unfortunately, but in my opinion, then 100% worth it. Anyway, what we're interested in is their best-selling products. So I'm just gonna put this on the end of the URL. And some stores can block this, by the way, but luckily enough, these guys haven't. So we can see immediately then what their best-selling products are. Which, by the looks of it, is this 3D phone screen in Larger, this Arctic Air Blaster. I've seen both of these on AliExpress before. Um, it's always important to have a look at the product pages too, because essentially this is what sells the product. A lot of people think that once you've got people onto your store, then the job is done, but the job isn't even halfway done. The job of your Facebook ad is to get people on your store. So in that respect, then the job of your Facebook ad is done. However, then it's the job of your product page to actually convert that customer, convert that visitor, sorry, into a customer. So just take notes from the product pages, try and replicate something similar. Um, and therefore, you know for a fact then, if, the, if you've got a similar product page to this, this one has succeeded. So if you have something similar, then in theory, yours should succeed too. So they're selling this for $30. I've found the product on AliExpress, which you can buy for £7.59, which is probably about nine or $10. So you can see a healthy profit margin of approximately $20 per sale. If you watched my previous video on how to price your Shopify products, you'll know this product fits that criteria then of leaving at least $10 room for your Facebook cost per purchase. In fact, this leaves $20 room. So if you were to sell this product for $30, you can buy it for 10, you spend $10 per Facebook cost per purchase, that leaves you $10 profit per sale. Sell 10 of these in a day, that's $100 profit per day. Over the course of a year is, is a bit less than 40 grand profit. Do this for three products and then you're looking at over 100 grand profit per year, which is pretty decent. The next thing I want to show you is their Facebook page because I mean, I'm a big believer in that the more followers and likes, etc., you can have on your social pages, then the better, because then the more social proof, the more likely people are to trust you. But these guys actually illustrate the fact that you don't need a ton of people to like your page and follow you. 
um, in order to be successful. As we can see, these guys have 2,000 likes, which 2,000 followers, sorry, and 1,800 likes, which is not a lot of people. Like you can build that up pretty quickly. So if your page hasn't got many likes, then that won't be the deciding factor between failing and succeeding. So what I'm trying to say then is don't worry about it too much. It's not going to stop you from making sales. Moving on to store number two then. Um, which is quite an interesting one and different to what we've just looked at. And there's a reason I want to show you this then, and it's because, well, for starters, then it's called Next Lashes. You can see it's a dropshipping business. They label themselves as a dropshipper, um, but they're doing a combination of two things. And they have their own product, which they've private labeled. I'll be showing you that in a second. But then they also dropship some products too. So they get the best of both worlds, um, hence why their profit margins are pretty decent. So they're making 30 grand profit per month off of 87 grand revenue. This is um, verified, of course and they have 1.4 million total revenue over the course of the past 18 months, 1.4 traffic, and these guys are spending 40 grand a month on Facebook, Instagram, and Google ads. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is that sometimes with Facebook, you have to spend money in order to make money. Facebook is a bidding platform, so of course, the more money you spend, then the better results, or the, the, the more you're gonna compete with other advertisers on the platform. So if you do have those kind of handful of ad sets that are doing really well and you're not quite sure what to do, then um, try be a bit more aggressive with them. Just simply increase the budget quite sharply and significantly, and you never know the results actually might improve and you might even become more profitable. Anyway, that being said, let's have a look at their website. So this is it, Next Lashes and Beauty. If we scroll down to have a look at a few of their products, we can see everything is labeled Next Lashes. So Next Lashes Eyeliner, we've got Next Lashes Reusable Magnetic Lashes, and Next Lashes Professional Lash Lifting Kit. And as you can see, even the packaging itself has their logo and name on, but not all of these products do, as you can see. Some of these products are being drop shipped. So what these guys are doing then is, or what it looks like they're doing then, obviously I don't know for certain, is that they're testing products with in this niche by drop shipping them and when they prove profitable and successful they actually go to that next level of sourcing some of the products in bulk getting them private labeled and that in turn then is enough to increase your customer retention because you can provide a better service obviously if something's getting to your customer within a couple of days instead of a couple of weeks um, if you guys want more information on this because this is one of the strategies I actually implement in my own stores um, then make sure you let me know in the comment section because not many people ask for this but in terms of taking your business to the next level then this is the next step hence the reason and then why I wanted to show you guys um, this particular store. So let's have a look at their best selling product, which was side where we were here. So I'll just put this on the end of the URL. Um, and when this loads up, we can see exactly what their best selling products are. And we can see that their number one then is the eyeliner. Now these guys haven't got a massive product collection, um, which is quite an important point to note is that there seems to be so much emphasis on a one product store or a general store or a niche product. And you have to have over 20 products or just one product or just three products. When it comes to succeeding in e-commerce, um, on Shopify with Facebook ads selling products, then it doesn't matter. Like, it really doesn't matter how many products, what sort of products. The key kind of like underlining factor in all of these stores is that whatever they're doing, whatever they're selling, they're doing it well. They're doing it to a certain quality, to a certain standard. And that's the main thing. If you can stand out from everybody else, even if you're selling the same products, but you can just do it in a better way, then that is gonna be the deciding factor between failure and success. So let's have a look at the product page then. This is always an important part. Um, in my opinion, one of the most important aspects of any store. And if we just take a quick look at the product description, then you can see they've got like a really nice video demonstrating how the product works. They're highlighting kind of like a key feature to the product. Um, it's really just kind of short, sharp to the point. They haven't even got any reviews for this product. Now that is surprising in my opinion. Um, I certainly wouldn't recommend having zero reviews. Even if it's just one review, then better than nothing in my opinion. But again, this just kind of illustrates my point in the fact that as long as you do what you do to a quality standard, then it doesn't really matter. Like some things really don't matter. So these guys have been able to do over a million dollars in sales. This is their best selling product and they haven't got a single review for it unless they've been deleting the reviews. In fact, I find that quite hard to believe, but there you go. So next thing I wanna show you is their Instagram page because these guys have got a pretty decent following on Instagram, 30,000 followers. Um, but one thing I want to point out here is if we take a scroll through their posts, look at how many different people they've got on here. Now, either they're reposting or they're paying influencers to use their products. But either way, it doesn't matter which one they're doing. What it does is it builds up social proof. 
If people see other people using your product, that's immediate social proof. People like to follow other people. It's a fact. It shows that if there's somebody else using your product, then you must be trustworthy. You must be a legitimate business. And like I said earlier on in the video, the biggest obstacle is that trust factor. If you can remove that trust factor, then you're gonna find it a lot easier to sell to your customers. Moving on to store number three then guys, is this Chakra Conscious. Now I might have butchered that, I do apologize. Um, if this is your store and you're watching this video, but we can clearly see then these guys are dropshippers. If we scroll down to their performance, 1.4 million in sales, um, which is obviously pretty good. Profit margins are lower, probably because these guys are purely just dropshipping. In fact, I think it says there I was dropshipping for the entire duration. Um, total traffic, 1 million visits, and these guys are spending the prox and 10 grand per month on Facebook. So again, these guys are integrating the typical dropshipping model that you hear about, which is sourcing things from China, AliExpress, um, and then using Facebook ads to promote those products. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this store then is because it's in like the health and well-being niche or spirituality niche, like mental health, etc., cetera, um, which is quite a big popular topic right now. Um, it can help a lot of people. Certainly a lot more people are becoming switched on to these sorts of things. So certainly very trending at this time, um, at this point of time. Just to say a few notes then on their store, you can see it's very minimalist. Um, it's like greys and whites, and that matches the theme of the niche. Like you wouldn't have, you wouldn't sell these products on like a really brightly colored store because it doesn't match the niche. It's all about being calm and collected within yourself. And that is reflected within the design of the store too. So a really great job. They've really captured the, theme and overall feeling of this niche on their store. So if we just take, put the, if we take the extension on the end um, to find out what these guys best selling products are. So these guys have actually blocked that ability to do so. As you can see, they've left a little message for people like us that just says copycat. So we won't be able to find out exactly what their specific best sellers are, but hopefully they'll help us out. If we go to shop now, best sellers, and these are the products that they've got in their best selling collection. So these aren't necessarily their best sellers. These are the ones that they wanna put across to their visitors that say they're their best sellers. So the chances are their products are in here, but you won't know for certain, there's no guarantee. But you can still take inspiration, of course. If we just take this bracelet on the right here then, um, just as, a, as an example, um, they're selling it for $22. Um, it's a pretty cool looking bracelet. There's lots of different kind of like stones in it. It's multicolored. I can see this getting quite a lot of attention um, online, certainly using Facebook. The product pages are very basic, but to the point, very minimalist. They're in keeping again with the kind of niche that it is because spirituality, um, if I'm not wrong, is all about being calm and collective and um, within your mind. And this encompass that. You get that feeling from the store because of the way it's set out, the colors they use, the certain fonts. And this is one of those things that I see again, a lot of people slipping up with on their store is that they often use really bizarre or bold or brash colors that don't match the kind of tone and products and niche that they're currently in. So with that being said, I've actually gone to the extent I found this product on AliExpress. So keep in mind, these guys are selling it for $22 um, plus shipping. There's no mention of free shipping, I don't think if I've not missed this. Anyway, this is the product on AliExpress. Very quickly, you can find it within about five, 10 seconds. I think this was on their best-selling product page too. Um, so you can source this for about two or $3, which again is in keeping with that product criteria of leaving at least $10 cost for purchase. So the profit margins on this particular product are gonna be quite healthy. Also, what you can see is there's loads and loads of different variations for this particular product, which is great because it offers multiple ways of getting people on your site. You could run a carousel ad with um, five or six of these different designs. Facebook will automatically put the best design as the first one to get attention, to get people in. And then again, when people are on your store, you can offer different discounts. So you could say four for the price of three or three for the price of two or buy one, get one free or buy three, save 20% or have upsells, cross sales. There's so many different ways in which you can increase the average order value, increase your profitability. Um, and overall, that's only gonna fare well for your business. It's only gonna increase your chances of producing something profitable and sustainable for the long term. So next thing I wanna show you then is their Facebook page because these guys have got quite a significant following, 190,000, 188,000 likes. Um, which is the completely the flip opposite to the previous company we saw. And this just illustrates the points in which I've covered in previous videos before is that 
When it comes down to any successful dropshipping business, there's three core elements that any business must do successfully, and that is have a decent store, which all three of these do, have decent products, which obviously all three of these do, and have a decent marketing campaign slash strategy, which again, obviously all three of these stores do. Everything else, everything underneath that, so the amount of followers you have on your page, um, whether your shipping is one week, two weeks, three weeks, whether it comes from US, China, etc., then everything comes below that. The main three fundamentals that you must get right in order to succeed are have a decent store, have a decent product, and have a decent marketing campaign. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up there. Um, if you're still watching, I really do appreciate it. The support for the channel recently has been amazing. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave that like. And of course, if you want to enter for your chance to win that call with me, uh, make sure you'll post your comment down below. And with that being said, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. What's up, guys? So this is my previous video then, how to price your products for maximum profit. It's not really a popular topic, hence what hasn't got many views. But I feel like there's some important information in there. So um, if you haven't seen it yet, please do go check it out. Anyway, we're here to announce the winner. So I'm just going to take the URL, head over to our random comment picker, get the comments, 37 unique comments, which is absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. And the winner of the previous video then is that person there. So thank you very much for your comment. Hit me up on Instagram. We can get that call arranged. Um, and guys, if you just want to get straight out of business, book a call right away, you can do so. Just make sure you check out the links in the video description below. And with that being said, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed them and uh, I'll see you in the next one.